Jacob Roloff has revealed what he's paid for appearing on Little People Big World as he bashed his family's reality show. The youngest Roloff sibling announced his departure after 10 years on the long-running series in 2016. Jacob, who primarily keeps his personal life out of the spotlight, has been vocal about his feelings toward the show. The former TV star made another shocking admission in a Twitter post on Tuesday night detailing the hourly wage he earned while filming. People don't realize I was paid roughly $6 an hour to be filmed from my whole childhood. I'm still called rich derisively. I wish I went scorched earth, but I value family. I wish I kept filming, but I value my principles and my soul. Life is complicated, the 25-year-old tweeted. The Ed's TLC star shared another sketching tweet last month, shading his famous family for their long-standing roles on the network. Did I screw up not selling my soul for TV and add money? Hope not, but rent is too damn high and I work too damn much. Life is for vibes, he wrote. In 2015, Jacob complained that he wasn't receiving the money he earned for his time on the show, tweeting, Man, I wish it didn't feel like I was getting freaked out of the money from the show that was my childhood right now. The following year, the Oregon native again slammed the show for stirring up family drama for television storylines, writing that the family is nothing like the show portrays. I get comments on here all the time about how people miss me on the show or telling me I should do a few more episodes with the family. I'm posting this to say that that will never happen. I have felt and observed over the years that the crew is to preserve their job and to preserve the ratings, which is up to you to be right or wrong. That's not to say they're all soulless corporate shills or something. There are and have been good people involved, but that doesn't negate the fact that they do have their own personal agenda. For me, noticing how the agenda of the crew doesn't work well with the health and happiness of our family is what made me decide quite a while ago that I could not be a part of it as soon as I was able. He also alleged he was molested by a former producer for LBBW, keeping the heroin abuse a secret before going public on Instagram in December 2020. Since exiting the show, Jacob and his wife Isabel upload videos to their YouTube channel and blog, Roaming Roloffs, detailing their trips around the country. They also use the platform to showcase Isabel's abstract art and the couple's writing. Their YouTube channel has garnered around 7,000 subscribers and 260,000 total views. There's two ways to do the filming thing. One way is through the show, maybe, and the other way is through myself and vlogs, he expressed in one video, according to In Touch. It's just more free doing it myself. I can do anything, I can say anything, I can talk about anything, I can show whatever I want. His wife added that this way the things he says can be misconstrued. As of 2018, Jacob's net worth is reportedly around $300,000, according to Celebrity Net Worth. Business Insider estimated that the Roloffs make around $7,000 to $10,000 per episode. Roloff patriarch Matt revealed earlier this month that he was selling a portion of the family farm, and Jacob was in the running to take over. Matt would prefer Jacob and wife Isabel to take over the farm, but he's not sure they are on board at the moment, a source earlier exclusively told The Sun. The insider continued, He is the youngest son, but Matt knows Jacob has potential. They are on the farm a lot, and Matt thinks this is a good way to teach him a lot of things he needs to learn. Matt's older twin sons, Zach and Jeremy, have expressed interest in the farm, though neither will be taking the reins. Zach has also mentioned taking over the farm, and Jeremy has said in the past he would like it, so Matt is still kind of stuck on what the next steps are, but he would prefer Jacob. Matt is on good terms with all of his sons, but the situation of who will take over the farm is still an issue yet to be resolved. Jacob and Isabel also recently became parents to a son Matteo, born in December 2021. That's it for now, thank you for watching. Please subscribe to stay tuned.